A moment in time. Reflection on a home, a work of art, created in a time and a place that once existed, and that same home reimagined for this time, our place, lovingly rehabilitated in preparation for a future reimagining. Edward Everett Boynton was a Rochester lantern salesman who hired Frank Lloyd Wright from nearly a thousand miles away to design a house for him, brought Wright to Rochester from Chicago, and paid $50,000 in 1908, a princely sum at the time, for a substantial house set in elaborate gardens on four city lots, all for two people to live in, himself and his young daughter. Richard O. Risen, author, historian. Wright planned each of his houses as a consistent aesthetic environment, designing interior woodwork, furniture, and glass as parts of an interrelated whole. While all of the buildings of this period are somewhat similar, each contains architectural elements and furnishings designed uniquely for that one project. Jean R. France, architectural historian, University of Rochester. Planned progressions, thematic evolution, the never-ending variety in differentiation of pattern. Integral ornament always belonging naturally enough to the simplest statement of the prime idea upon which structure is based. Beethoven's rhythms are like that, integral like those of nature, and likewise the work of the inspired architect. Frank Lloyd Wright Moments in Time